Hi, let's talk about a cloud function with PubSub. In this video, we are going to see how PubSub can trigger your cloud function. And um, we'll see this demo. We will, uh, I mean, um, create a PubSub topic and then we also create a cloud function and then we will set up uh, some sort of triggering. <clears throat> so before we, you know, understand um, how how PubSub triggers uh, this cloud function, let's, let's just understand what exactly the PubSub uh, very quickly. So in, in cloud function, a, a PubSub triggers enables a function to be called in response to the uh, PubSub messages, right? So when you specify a PubSub trigger uh, for a function, you also specify a PubSub topic. So, so, um, so PubSub is basically, if I give you an example, um, imagine a, a postman, right? A postman who is delivering a message but instead of you know of individual addresses he has labeled the boxes like uh, like for news or jobs or sales anything right and anyone interested in these topics can uh, can pick in the corresponding box and retrieve the message so essentially uh, google cloud uh, pops up you uh, know consists of three important um, uh, things which is topic so topic is act like a label box uh, where publisher or senders can put a message to the to their uh, relevant topic now publishers are are the senders actually so who put the message into the appropriate topic box and subscriber are the interested parties uh, in this case cloud function is the subscriber and <clears throat> the publisher is a who is uh, you know publishing the message into this topic uh, pu publisher can be anything right publisher could be uh, let's say uh, from um, uh, big query maybe from external parties you know sending the message to the topic and then cloud function is going to consume it right so uh, example of uh, the pub serve you can see a real time data analytics or even driven workflows so i mean um, the, the pub sub itself is a very huge topic so i'm not going to deep dive into it so let's just uh, see uh, how we can invoke our cloud function using the pub sub so i'm already logged into my console so here uh, let me create a topic so i'm going to say my topic one just leave it default I have also opened another tab here uh, where I have opened this cloud shell. So let's just open it. Oh, I think, uh, okay. So the topic is already created, I think, before. So I will use this topic, right? You can create this topic by simply clicking this create topic. So now I'm going to create my cloud function. Uh, this part is done. I, I have created a topic one, okay? Now I'm going to create the cloud function. So we can create a cloud function from here. <clears throat> and here I'm going to make it function one. And the reason is your central one is fine. And uh, here, so here you need to, you know, uh, change the trigger type, right? You need to select this cloud pops up. And the topic is going to be my topic one. Now go to runtime here, just select your, how much memory I'm going to set it uh, 512 MB and the CPU I'm going to just going to a little bit increased. Timeout, you can just set it 300 or you can go with the default. This will work. I think uh, four is fine for instance. And, uh, Okay, we are good. Go next. So here is the Node.js code that you should use in Hello. Uh, this is basically nothing which like the hello and uh, whatever name. Well, this message is it's like the name is like a message. The whatever message that you will you know uh, send, like whatever message that you will publish into your topic, uh, it will be appended to your um, to the hello, right? So it will return this. So it's very simple. Just just uh, just uh, copy this code. Just up here from here, go to a cloud function and paste it here. Uh, nothing fancy is here, just uh, copy paste and deploy this. Now let's wait for a minute. would take a couple of minutes. Okay. 
the build is finished you can also see the details from here like all the details that we have just filled out see that all right looks like uh, it is deployed you can see that function one has been deployed now what i'm going to do i'm going to you know publish some message uh, to my topic okay so you can do with, with the with the uh, with from here but uh, i just want to show you from the um, from the command line how you can do that so the cloud uh, pops up topics what is your topic name my my topic one my topic one and the message i am going to say the cloud cloud baba this message i'm going to uh, you know basically i am a i am a publisher and i'm sending a message to my topic okay uh what happened g cloud pub sub and then topic sorry here i need to add a publish now it is fine it should be fine uh what happened again g cloud pub sub topics uh, publish my topic one Oh, sorry i think uh, the spelling of message is was incorrect so let me just do this now it's fine see so this message has been uh, added to my topic so the moment uh, what what i said this cloud function uh, should be triggered when it got some uh, event right so now i have this message in my pop up so it must trigger uh, my function so if just to verify it you can go to logs and here you would see some thing see so you can see that in the logs it print this the cloud baba right whatever uh, message that you will print it would be printed here or if you want to see um your logs here you can also see that uh, there is a command let me just type it here so here you can read that sorry so i have this function name sorry. Function name is function one. Sorry, can function one, and here you need to just change the reason US simple one. And that's it i think yeah that's it so it will print uh, you know uh, a message uh, i mean the locks mess uh, entries here so you can see that you can put it here the the message and the next time let's say if you want to add another message let's say you want to add how are you so again you can run this command and here you can see that okay it looks like it's not triggered yet let's just wait for the locks here see it has printed hello how are you okay if you want to see it here i think now now it will print now it can print yes you can see that right so this is how your cloud function works with the uh, pubsub that's it for now thank you for watching